There's a remote and wildly beautiful spot here on the Sun Coast that seems hidden away from the world. But it was once reportedly the playground of gangsters, smugglers, ladies of the night, and Hollywood stars. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more in A Place We Call Home. Travel down a tree canopy dirt road just off River Road to the Mayaka River and you've reached Snook Haven. And it's just teeming with fish and and actually there were a lot of fish in here that uh, they used to pull out. They had blue crabs, they had uh, the tarpons, they had uh, the um, snook of course, and they would all congregate around the docks. And that's where the name of Snook Haven came oh. from. For centuries, native tribes walked these banks. Around 1841, there was a man called William Whitaker, and he was the first man to bring a herd of cattle down to this region. He realized the potential for cattle raising because of the fertile soil. When prohibition came in the 1920s, Snook Haven became a popular spot. It was used as a uh, transport area so the smugglers could come here and the uh, bootleggers could come here and then they could still take out their illegal wares. There were wild parties here. They had horse races on the banks and they would take their horses through the tall bush and race them and there was shooting going on and they had lots of uh, party girls and they gambled and they drank. A Chicago man rumored to be a Polish gangster arrived. He built the lodge and the five cabins and the five cabins were for his buddies mm -hmm. and the women of the night. It also attracted Hollywood. There was a movie made here called Prestige and it starred Anne Harding and I believe that was in 1931 and the scenes from uh, were filmed inside the um, the uh, main cabin there. There are rumors that jungle movies were made here bringing in and leaving behind monkeys and killer turtles. There's no proof of that but there are a lot of alligators but when prohibition ended Snook Haven was abandoned until 1948 when Frank Coville and his wife bought it. They decided to open up a fish camp instead of a fish resort. So it was the first time it was public mm -hmm. access. The cabins rented for $15 a night or $40 a month. 2006, the county bought it and turned it into what it is today. And today there's a restaurant with good food and drink, kayaking, canoeing and fishing, and there's lots of live entertainment and community celebrations. Snook Haven, an important part of our history and a great place to visit today. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News.